What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. I think this is a lot of beating around the bush. We should jump to the actual point. People are drawing too many cards too fast is boring, unless you want to draw too many cards. I don't beating around the bush is kind of funny because this has just been like the non-stop dialogue in any like magic format talking about modern for like two weeks now, three weeks now. It's it's just like I, I'm not we're not talking about like yes, I think up the beanstalk is too good. But it's still like not that interesting to talk about it at the moment because it has just been it's it's like a dead horse at this point, <laughs> but it, it is it is okay to have that critique. But it's mostly a dead horse at this point. A lot of people have this opinion. I'm going to say the one thing, Spike, that everyone is afraid of saying. I'm going to say what everyone else is a coward. And refuse to finally release the truth. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Free spells in modern were bad. They're bad. I'm going to say it. Modern shouldn't have zero mana spells. I, I'm going to say it. Fury and Solitude. I don't like those cards. I don't like them. I wish that they weren't so popular. <laughs> I yeah I I'm brave and I can stand up for what's right. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna beat around the bush. <laughs> and the format's fine. I agree. Like the 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 modern format is changing a lot at the moment. I'm having a good time. If you're not having a good time, you are not alone. You are not alone and not having a good time. But um, <laughs> it's. Yeah, it's very, very standard opinion at this point. It's fine. So, why did my opponent not... I guess they're going to bolt my Scion? I could have maybe just taken the hit from the Ragavan. I'm having a good time, though. Look, 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 chat. Look, you can complain about everything, or you can Witch's Cottage to put your Scion of Draco on top of the library and cast Calibrated Blast. These... These are the two pills I offer for you. You can complain about the same things you've been complaining about for two years, or you can Wishes Cottage Calibrated Blast. <laughs> no other option. Okay, so up a game against Domain Zoo. I haven't played this matchup much. I do feel like the Calibrated Blaster. Good plan. Uh, I think Fable, Pro Fable of the Mirror Breaker is looking pretty bad to me. But I don't want to cut too many copies, so I can still like loot away my shadows. The other draw, I just want two shielded on the play me or play. I like that window keeps getting. Yeah, people do always kind of hate what the best thing is. You know, I, I it's just, it's just. <laughs> I know I, I I I'm guilty of it too sometimes, but it just been, bums me out sometimes that I I'm like just so excited to play the deck I'm currently playing, share the ideas that we're sharing, and it just like the majority of chat, or not the not the majority, but a big chunk of chat always just seems to want to complain about the same things every day. It's a bummer. There's a lot of a lot of cool stuff to do and talk about at the moment. Fury off the Beanstalk draw would be pretty nice. Holy shit. Yeah, that's Magic Players. For sure. uh, let's go ahead and like think about Step or Denial by playing Kavu instead of Talk here. I get shock in the Overgrown Tomb to play Beanstalk and Binding this turn, but I think it's probably just better to get five domain here.
people want to express it. Yeah, we 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 have been reflecting a lot about how people wanted expressive iteration banned. Kind of funny, right? Like a really good chance they just have binding for my shielded. They binding their binding gain four, keep my shielded in play. That was the wrong land, right? Oh fuck, it was the wrong land. <laughs> and I shocked. I mean, if they bind, okay, they're gonna bolt bolt. Oops. You can complain about my uh, poor play instead of my through the modern format, also. Yeah, I meant to grab the Grixis Tribe instead there. Okay, Gigantha in their hand. Oh, right. <laughs> Magic peaked in Great Crash standard, or I'll chase in that high. I like the rest of that standard format. Like I, I liked uh, Dragon's Maze. I thought Dragon's Maze plus the next core set was great. But I actually do agree. I, I, I think that is the best Magic's ever been. <laughs> right on the money. I do completely agree, <laughs> or close to completely agree. Like I, I like wearing the headband. Like I'm not gonna, you know, not wear it because some chatters don't like it. But uh, cavern on beast. Bolting the crazy right now seems okay. They named Salamander off their next cavern. Very fun. I'm gonna get the Xander's Lounge. Important to get full domain. It is good that we have Shadow plus Calibrated Blast, but it's awkward that we have the Temple Garden. Dream Giant off that one. Let's uh, go to combat. We can maybe still bolt the grazer before it blocks. I think I'd rather just play a second territorial Kavu, honestly. If then you play a Titan, I can like attack for 10 and then like bolt the Titan after blocks. Well, I guess they can also just get double Valakit, huh? Okay, so they can float a mana, then replay the cavern. Cast their Titan. Ah, but they don't have a Titan, they just have a Karn. And they're one mana short of Ensnaring Bridge. If they even are playing Bridge, sometimes you don't see Bridge in the Titan deck. They grab a Haywire Might for the life. I can bolt the Karn. Let's just attack my opponent. I'm really never playing Fable here. Okay. Notably, they can't activate Haywire Mites. Let's just let's just let them go to blocks. Titan deck plays card. And sometimes, not all the time. And then, how important is it going to be for me to? I'm definitely going to bolt the Karn. How important is it for me to hold up Leyline Binding? Seemingly not that important. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play up the beanstalk. We still have one cottage in the deck, so we'll just play this. We're very likely to find a find a cottage next turn with triple or double loot plus draw step. If you find a cottage, they I guess they only die if they chump block. Well, I can buy need the dry extra. That's an extra look even. So we missed on our first two looks at a cottage here. Even a uh, troll works. So we have we have we have ten fetchlands in the deck plus three trolls. I'm not sure exactly how many we have at the moment, but 
We did brick. So natural blast probably. Bloom with 37, thank you, buddy. Welcome back. How good has Shoulder been? We haven't played against any bean decks today. Um but she I think she's good in the deck in general. I'm I'm pretty happy with two in the main deck. I don't know if I want the fourth in the sideboard. I do want the third of the sideboard though. Kind of where I'm at. Okay, so we can bring in Break the Ice and the Char Balls, the Murderous Cut. Uh, against this version that's playing Ring and Karn, maybe both Needles are good. I'm definitely going to cut the Bolts. Children's kind of slow. They are a Ring deck, we're bringing the Needles. I'm, I'm kind of down to cut the Children's, I guess, in this matchup. On the Trim of Fury. On the Trim of Fable. We're gonna land on the draw. With the yeah, I think with the, with the with the shielders out, I can cut a land pretty easy. Should that be a troll? Should that be a fetch land? Let's uh, let's let's keep the trolls in. Like, six damage off of it's pretty nice. Yeah, super league today. Two and a half hours. And cannot turn to scion. Let's mulligan. again. It's too slow on the draw against titan. Keep this one. I think I put back second binding because I want it. I want it, I need Fable to discard Shadow. No Ren. I think the troll is better than Ren. I think you should play one or the other. I think I don't think you could really play both. I know that the top eight list was playing Ren, but I. I think I think I I, I think no Ren is better. Like like. Having troll in your hand lets you keep a lot of hands that you otherwise could not keep. If that makes sense. Return forest to their hand, which is kind of weird. Instead of the Simic Growth Chamber. So do I have binding Azusa? Like they definitely have another bounce in their hand by binding the amulet, and they have a, and they just get another amulet off the saga. Then they have Azusa, they go for it. If I binding Azusa, they get an amulet. Yeah, they they still can Titan. Do I try to binding Titan here? Just like hold up binding. I guess I'm holding up binding. Binding on Titan is usually not something you want to do, because they could just besage you it, but I you know, I I don't have a way to stop them from tightening here, so I think I just have to do this. Why not both? Because I can't. That'd be five dollars a month for the rest of your life. Only cast one binding this turn. They could also probably just like Wait, their hand was Dryad Titan Bounce Land? That's a hand, dude. Yeah, they get the besage you. Let's let's go to game. Alright, let's land. On the play. Mulligan. When it is thinking about their did Mulligan decision. They go to six. I'm gonna go to five. They've also gone to five. I'm gonna keep. Like Blood Crypt Shadow, and then go Grixis Triumph, Overgun Tomb, Beanstalk, Tricycle Cycle Stroll for Godless Shrine. Weird game. Gardens, no amulet. Andrew's Lounge. I fetch for Gala Shrine here. Or did. Did you send Tron over last weekend? Kept looking at it and I think it'd be better with Lovers instead of Karn Liberated. Yeah, maybe. I didn't really get the generous part of the plan, to be honest, but. 
Yeah, let's let's binding here. This stops them from being able to fight next turn, probably. Yeah, I I, I didn't really get that deck to be honest. It plays like a billion forests in general sense. Like, I didn't really get what the idea was. It didn't really make any sense. Maybe there's I'm not you know a Tron main or whatever, so certainly possible there's something I'm missing. I think Mystic Sanctuary could ever be safe with Modern? Not really. I think it's kind of bad for me here, but if I can draw a Calibrated Blast, we'll be able to win because they're going to go down to 15. They probably should have drawn before they cast the Grazer also. Not a huge deal. Right, calibrated Blast, two looks for the win. Break the Ice is not awful. So it's Binding the Ring. Break the Garden. And then I need to think about Cottaging Back. <laughs> um, troll or Shadow here. And just like casting them for value. So plays land, plays Amulet of Vigor, plays Grazer. Pull only has one card in hand though. Okay. So if I caught it, so if I if I cottage in shock, that'll be a ten life, and it's four mana to cast Shadow. I think I'm probably weirdly just better off cottaging back the troll. It's like pretty unblockable, hits for a ton. Obviously, I'll kind of regret this if I draw Calibrated Blast and then die next turn, but I don't also know of how likely I am to die next turn. Maybe I could take some time to figure that out. But they should have, even if they have, even if they just go land Titan, they can't double strike the Titan. So I'm, I'm take eight. Yeah, and this, this also has lifelink. Yeah, so with this having lifelink, I guess we just kind of easily do this. Um. Charmel is also like, is this ever like what we want to be doing? I think I'm going to discard the Charmel. Like, not like the worst, but I'm going to dig for Calibrated Blast. Why play it before looting? Um, yeah, I guess we could have looted looking for Blast first. I That's, that's probably a bit better. I was you know, considering the card we're going to draw off the Beanstalk, though. All right, so they're just pretty flooded. Okay, so in Fury, one of these two grazers doing that kills them. Cool, for the best. It's kind of be also, you know, a lot of troll, you know, rid troll over Ridden Six. You just take a lot of hands like this where you keep because you have a troll instead of a Ridden Six. Although maybe they take the troll and I look dumb. You raise the ceiling of draws to get eight mana on turn three with turn one Tron, forest cycle, turn two florist, explore, turn two Tron three. A lot of pieces, but yeah, maybe. I think of living end beans. What the fuck is that? Okay, I'll see the two best cards in my hand. Hopefully we have a you know fetch on top or something. It's like AI generated living end beans. There's a way to adjust the sensitivity, audio gate, get rid of the background fan of some background noises i miss the sound clicks i don't know if y'all are like out here logging for the sound clicks like <laughs> it's just not that serious <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say
We'll probably lose this game, though. This makes it easier to handle what's happening game. I see, I don't know. It's This seems to be the best solution. Does not seem like it's possible to make everybody happy. <laughs> All right, Modern Staple, Troll of Casa Doom, showing up everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and go to game over here. Can you not turn off the noise again? Sound is super choppy. October. What the fuck, dude? I read your comment out loud. I say, I read your comment out loud. I said, can you turn off the audio mute function for mic setup? It sounds super, super choppy. I read that out loud and I said, this seems to be the popular... Uh, the, the, this, the feedback has been that the noise gate is for the best by a lot. And then we talked for about this for like two minutes and like why I have it like this. Am I, am I going crazy? Did that not just happen? Did I not just talk about why I have it like this for like two minutes? Reading your comment out loud, responding to you. Only for you to go, can you not just turn off the sound gate? Sound is super choppy. Like what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I almost want to play one break the ice. Yeah, I've been crazy, dude. This, yeah, the sound is so choppy, just not listening, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I guess I'm going crazy, but that's yeah, not, not unrelated. <laughs> yeah, one bean short of a stock. I'm gonna trip a shadow. I'm gonna do the one shield red. It's just like so fragile in this matchup. Sorry, I didn't hear that. It's 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 okay. It's just it's just frustrating, you know. But it is. Uh, I, I guess you know, clearly didn't hear it. I do want both needles. Maybe the shadows are not good. Maybe the charmals are not good actually. Let's try this. Okay, I'm gonna keep this hand. The audio is too choppy to hear. Don't like to draw basics of this. Yeah. So I do have another basic in my deck. I have a basic planes now. Uh, I mean, I guess we discard the swamp. And okay, now we're going to bolt the bowmaster. We discard swamp and cottage. Yes, I guess so. I guess we cycle the Endotha Triome. Does def always feels bad. Discard two lands with fable. Drill two lands with fable. Field of Ruins Godless Shrine. I guess they chose poorly since I get to get basic planes here. I think we just hard cast Fury off of a second Blood Crypt here. Since they can Field of Ruin me off double red next turn. And this means they can't Fatal Push Fury, but it does mean they can Fatal Push the Reflection. A little bit awkward. Do I ever sacrifice reflection? And I, th I think we're always, or Fury instead of reflection, I think we're always sacrificing reflection because Fury is like kind of tricky for them to kill in their Fatal Push deck. They have three cards in their hands. Build of Ruin my Overgrown Tomb. Immediately draw Temple Garden is kind of interesting. I, I probably will hold it in my hand for a turn. This way they can't just like field of ruin and I can't and this Kavu is stranded forever. I'm gonna slam Shieldred also. There's there's maybe like a reasonable chance that they have damnation, but I think I think I just still slam the Shieldred, maybe. Maybe they have Fatal Push. Maybe they're flooded. Maybe they have troll. 
Yeah, they're flooded. Flooded and push. Good news. That shield is so good at the moment. That shield is so hot right now. Uh, also, you, you should be playing some fetch lands in your in your coffers deck. I, like nobody nobody plays fetch lands at the moment, I think. Or like fetch lands are pretty not stock, but you, like the first like two copies at least is pretty pretty good for in your fatal push deck, I think. You're also playing cling to dust. Like the fact that most cottage builds just don't play any fetch lands, I think, is wrong. Or coffer coffers builds. I guess they also have cottage. So. I should maybe have the murders cut in. Yeah, let me play the murders cut over the third bolt. Bolt does kill Karn. Here we also can kill Karn. No Charmals, extra threats, amount of value. Well, I had them in and I decided that there wasn't a single card that I wanted a Charmal over over a card here. What what would you cut? I, I, I brought them in at first and I said that I want every single card here over any number of Charmals, but I'm open to hearing what you would do instead. Also, we just put field. Yeah, I know a Charmal's not bad against them. I, I'm on board. Double red can be kind of hard against the field deck, maybe. That's some fury. I think I went the third fury before the first charm all, but that is that is feedback for sure, and I appreciate. It. Okay, um, I have a weird hands. Fable's really good against them. I'm gonna keep. Don't deal with, with most of their stuff. I mean, it, I, we're we're a bean deck, so to some extent, we want to keep our, um, we want to keep our bean enablers in in hand in deck, and they're they're a bowmaster deck. You know, they're a card deck. And Fury and and Fury, like you saw that last game, like it's just not doesn't die to Fatal Push, so it's you know I guess Charmall doesn't either, but like that's a lot of value I think too. Can I get Overgrown Tomb off this roll. Also awkward to draw one of our basics again. I guess yeah, I mean I can cast Beanstalk if I draw it here. This neither the record being modern playable, but it's been years. So I started playing modern in like the Splinter Twin Birthing Pod era. I guess I guess that you did see Sub Knight of the Reliquary and like Zoo decks back then. But I Okay, so kind of weird having the basic planes in my hand here. I would probably I might get it here. Yeah, but Knight of the Reliquary is not good. Uh not good enough to play. I do. I, I. It is kind of the new meme, though, when people are suggesting a card to just, just kind of like generically describe what the card does. You know, Knight of the Quarry, extra threat and added value. Like <laughs> that describes basically any three drop you can play. <laughs> I think. I think with really no exception that describes any three drop you could put in your modern deck. <laughs> what are we talking about? White green value ten decks. Yeah, I guess I didn't play a lot of that era. Ooh, baby. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Too excited. I, I definitely should have played Overgrown Tomb. Like a double Scion next turn, but... Whatever. We get really lucky. I, I probably want to discard a Scion anyways for Calibrated Blast, for what it's worth. But yeah, if I can draw Blast plus Cottage... Yeah, none of Reliquary is probably better in Legacy than Modern. There's also like much better lands in Legacy. It's in Snaring Bridge. Interesting with this many cards in hand. I'm gonna discard Scion. Should be discarding this Blood Crypt. I guess Scion Plains is off White Man off the Shaman. Actually, have white man off the shelf. The car is nothing about legacy. Assume reclaimer is better than night. Probably, yeah. I don't know a lot about legacy these days either. Okay, so they played in snaring bridge. Fatal push for the again. My God, let's try this yard. I just, I just messed up so bad by playing that Blood Crypt. If I have, if I play the, the other one instead, we're just in such good shape. Now I have to like, get in Dotha Trium. Hope they don't field it. Play Scion. 
fast. We're gonna play Sion for combat, so Goblin attacks with Greg. But I thought I did play a pre-combat, but I guess it is relevant against Bowmaster. So running for the ring is a little bit weird with the bring play. Kind of nice against my exact hand. They're definitely staring at their Karn sideboard at the moment. No Karn in play. How about they get a ring? They might get Sundering Titan. If they have if they have a uh, ball coffers, they can cast it right. Exactly eight. They do get the ring. Grab coating and blow up Trium. No, you can't blow up something which coating the turn you grab it. So I guess I'm gonna binding the ring this turn and then binding the bridge the following turn. Also, maybe make another Scion copy or something. We lose to Field of Ruin. Probably. I guess we could still just theoretically bolt and then launch Scion at some point. No Field of Ruin this turn is, is huge. We're going to be able to Binding the Bridge. We have. Three cards in their hand, cling to dust in the graveyard. What do we feel like their hand looks like? They could have a damnation. They can get this ring from underneath the binding, but they can't replay it this turn. Does Rocker have protected fire eyes? Yeah, you, you can't fire a Rocker because expert from monocolored. Fire is monocolored on the stack. They grab a Cityscape Leveler. Two other cards in hand. Okay, so I can't copy the Scion anymore. I'm going to attack them for eight. What, what, what card could I draw that punishes me for not bolting now? Not Fury, because I still need to binding the, the bridge. Uh, Shieldred, do I... I, I do I have any Shieldreds in the deck at the moment? I have one. Yeah, Shieldred is the card. Yes, you have lethal. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, maybe I have lethal. Although yeah, this cling to dust mean is like a little awkward with the cottage. Or like the, you know, draw a cottage game plan. So their hand is currently Sunder, or Cityscape Level or Mystery Card, Mystery Card. Presumably one of those cards is a land, because it's not like a lot else that makes a lot of sense. Um, it, they, th that was their draw for the turn, for sure. <laughs> that was for sure their draw for the turn. <laughs> um, they're going to Cityscape Level my Scion. Yeah, I, sh I should just blast end of turn, though, which is like a little weird with the cling, but I should, because I, I, I can just flash it back. Oh, but they, I mean, I guess the cling is the problem. Oh, they're thinking about going after this ley line, I'm assuming. That's also interesting. They instead go after a Scion. We just have so many cottages in the deck, and like they're gonna want to cling to dust end of turn kind of no matter what. I'm not dying to the cityscape leveler attack next turn. Yeah, I think I think that I should just untap. Uh, the fact that they can clean my calibrated blast is just too bad. I uh, I did draw, <laughs> did draw a cottage. My opponent decides not to use cling to dust. Playing around calibrated blast, I guess, which feels pretty ambitious. That being said, what's nice here is that we make them cling to dust. We make them cling to dust the creature instead of the calibrated blast itself. So that means we can just we can go end of turn cottage. They have to cling to dust. Go up to six, seven. Whoa, they're targeting the binding. So my th this leaves my scion in play still as a like lethal attacker. 
that is like hard for them to answer and they're afraid to push back. Yeah, maybe they think they have protection. Maybe they think the cling to dust will stabilize them. They find another coffers that is, you know, so much mana. Okay, so one of their cards here is Thoughtseize that they they're just casting it too. It's kind of wild. Maybe they have March. That would be so crazy if they had a March here. Just let this resolve. Never, right? Why would we why would you we would just let this resolve? But I hit a calibrated blast, so it go to kind of sad one life to point, then up to four, then back down to two. And then they they they're one card short of they're <laughs> I don't I don't know. This is if the last card is March, uh things are kind of scary. Not March though, they would have sunk, sunk the mana in. Is it is it is it an answer to Scion? Because you gotta kill the Scion. You gotta kill the Scion. Um I draw up the beanstalk. So presumably their last card is Shielder's Edict exactly. I'll respond to that with Calibrated Blast. So that, because they, they can't cling, right? Yeah, they don't have enough cards in the yard. They think they can cling? Do they have March and they just didn't cast it on their turn when they could have gained like seven more life or something? Or five more life? I think they think they can cling. Yeah, I think that's what they were thinking. Okay, weird game. Weird game. That's so punished. Like... Crypt that one turn. Too much gnomes in standard. I have strong opinions on them. Too much to get into now. Run a mold to six. I'm kind of inclined to keep this and just try to draw a uh, green source. Green is just so good on turn two, especially with Fury. We have a lot of lands. In the deck, <laughs> I would mull. You would go to five. I, I think. I think going to five is like is pretty reasonable. But feel okay about the decision to keep. Like we are with we're, we have twenty four lands in our deck, but three of them are witch's cottage. So it's like we have twenty. I guess not all of them are green sources too. Yeah, I I, I guess it, maybe mulliganing is better. But it's really close because like how, like how good is the like what's the win percentage of the average mull to five? Sure, this being for SQ. I, I, I wouldn't play a deep fiend, I'd play Omnath. Um, I don't know if I'd do two Omnath, one Elish Norn in the flex spots, or three Omnath, but also then four commandeers in the board, and then uh, at least two lore guilds because of the commandeers. Maybe, maybe, maybe only five is, is correct here. Like, both decisions seem kind of, kind of tough, right. Seems seems close. You don't think Deep Fiend is good? I do think Deep Fiend is good, but I think Commandeer is so insane at the moment that I think I think that like it, you just can't play it with the Deep Fiend build. There's not there's not enough <laughs> not enough uh, red cards. Or, I'm sorry, blue cards. That you just you just kind of have to you have to play Omnath, I think. And I'm not getting life and stabilizing is a big deal. Like. I've certainly lost a lot of games because I don't have Omnath. I can't stabilize. Cast it? Yeah, Ragavan also, like, there were, like, no lands on the top five of my library. Good game to him. Basic planes in rollout. Maybe just cut the third cottage in this. I haven't done that before, but cut. Let's cut. Bring in the murderous cut. Also, I, th I think. I'm gonna trim the fourth calibrated blast. And then shielded numbers are kind of weird here. Shielded's pretty good against them. I think I went for just like very tough to draw two copies. And if you don't want to draw two copies of a card early or if like you really don't want to draw two copies of a card early it probably just shouldn't be a four of in the deck 
Not sure what the extra cut is for the third shield grid. Could be down. Could just be down to like two blasts. Like, like the problem is like they, they don't take that much damage a lot of the times, and like you can blast them for a bunch, but it's but you're kind of like the control deck in the matchup. Let's try this. You really don't want to draw two copies. Then I'd play. Well, I don't mind drawing two shielders over the course of a game. I don't want to draw two copies early. Um, I feel like three is often time is where I land with that kind of attitude. The mulligan, let's put back the few. What if we replace Bloodbird Elf with Cascade Seer to up the blue count? Well, what is Cascade? Perfect Wizard, when Cascade Seer enters, Scry X, or X is never party, that, that would up the blue Teams. It is also a Cascade 4 drop. <laughs> Curious suggestion. Oh. Usually I bolt the Ragavid if I'm scared of an Undying card, and I don't if I don't. It doesn't cascade, that's, it's, <laughs> you know, uh, poorly named, I guess. What can you do? The land for Fable would be good. Main phase this. Another Voidwalker, which means my plan of discarding the Shadow to the Fable is going to fail. Pretty good curve from them. Ragavan into Voidwalker, into Voidwalker Thoughtseize, of course. They took Calibrated Blast, though, which I guess I'm fine with. Yeah, they might cast the Troll. I'd be kind of okay with that, too, maybe. Three mana, Fable maybe. That's kind of weird, but I guess. My hand is, I, I think I want to keep the shadow, like I'm about to be able to cast it and. Yeah, let's, let's just discard the Delta. See what we draw, oh, Lightning Bolts. Why don't I just Beanstalk before I do anything else? Hey, I guess they can't, they can't Bowman. Okay, um, so I'm down to attack with this Goblin Shaman, and then pass the Leyline Binding, and then we get to we just get to see what we're drawing off the Binding before we choose what it is we're exiling with it. Um, I knew this is really interesting. We could exile Fable. Exiling Fable seems pretty. Pretty reasonable. I think I think I'm gonna exile the Voidwalker and then bolt the Shaman, and this way I can play around in the dying card in their hand. Not convinced this is correct, but it seems okay. If you play 61 cards, can I play Norn and two Omneth main? Well you can do that on 60, but you can play more than 60 also. Probably was a pretty good draw. Um, also, my opponent, oh, did they not loot anything away? Yeah, so they, they like their hand. Don't think we can afford to bolt this work arm. You think I I'm I'm pretty scared of the bowmaster with like me wanting to loot with the Kavu and the Kavu copy. So let's upkeep both this to play around the dying effect the best. Obviously that is their last card, despite me being really surprised that they didn't loot that away. Like I d I don't know. Like not looting it away here is kind of Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe like Doing all the reflection is like super good. And then they top deck Shieldred. Also lovely. Yeah, I heard Caleb was on time Civ for Super League. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I believe they looted the Thoughtseize. 
Yeah, maybe, maybe they did. Maybe I'm like misreading what had happened. Yeah, are the Super League decks posted though? I'd, I'd like to take a look at what. I I, I heard the Caleb registered time sieve. That's what uh, I received. Whatever. That's what um, Doom had said. But I haven't. That's all I know. That there is a time <laughs> or there's there's a time sieve floating around somewhere. Okay. Okay, so Doom is playing Shielded Rhinos, which is kind of what I expected. Caleb is playing Asmo time sieve. Very exciting. Pretty sim we we you know we played very similar lists of years. Canister is playing four color bean, which is also kind of what I expected. So I, I'm feeling pretty neutral about or pretty pretty good about this, I guess. I did know Caleb was gonna be kind of a wild card. I think our matchup against this is probably not amazing because we don't have like a lot of disenchant and stuff. But I should but I I at least like know how to play against these kind of decks. Played so much of them, if that makes sense. What is more gold knife? Shadow Spear, I guess. Okay, um, do I am I taking four here? Take four. I can't loot super effectively. They have a lot of blockers because they're copying with Bowmaster. I guess. Is it close to the same 75 I'm playing right now? Um Yeah, I'm I'm playing the exact same 75. <laughs> I wanted to show it off too. Oh yeah, they get to draw step grief also. Yeah, looking bad. But we could maybe set up. I guess we can't can't cast that anyways. So now I have to play some defense. I haven't played like a reflection mirror in a while. It's funny, Campbell's playing a deck that, like th this is so close to like something we were like on like two years ago. <laughs> I think Goose is cool. It is weird to be like this green based in the food deck and not play finale, but it's kind of tough to need a Leyline Ace up. Well, I think my plan is I can maybe make a lot of reflection tokens or something. Rogue says they're, they're draws. My, yeah, my life total is low. Seven. I'm, I'm basically at five. And they can they kill me this turn? I'm not... I don't think they can kill me this turn. Also, us, us exiling two cards in the yard with the Kavus. And yeah, we can always just get very lucky with Calibrated Blast. <clears throat> we also do get to go copy Kavu end of turn. And XL the Kroxa, attack with the Kavu. Yeah, they, they determine they don't have any attacks, which is something I, I'm pretty sure is correct. Is Doomix deck normal? I mean, I, it's what I expected him to play. They go for the draw step grief again. How much we can do about this? You get to flip reflect reflection, attack with Kavu, exile Kroxa, a jump block with grief. Doesn't copy grief get there? I didn't think it did, but reading the board, kind of a complicated. I'm pro I'm probably dead this turn though. I I don't I don't really think I can survive. The math right. I think Dash Ragger and attack all or copy grief attack all. I think I think that they, they go copy grief don't attack with Shieldred. That that's maybe the best line. Oh attack all also gets the nah, attack attack all also. Because my best my best thing I can do right is copy Kavu. Block here, block here. This block here, go to one, go to negative one. Okay, dead. Uh, I'm gonna call the stream here. I need, I, I really want to eat lunch before the Super League starts. Feels like this is a good stopping point now that we're not live for the trophy. If you want to see more of this deck, I'm gonna play it in the Super League tonight. Uh,
twitch.tv slash anzidmtg and also the Magic Online official channel, which I think is just called Magic Online. Um, do with roll the ro was there a roll token out there? Yeah, Mr. Was.